Okay, now la last time I'm talking about the uh, motion that before the 13 principle. Okay, the motion involves how you react, how you how you feel. Did I talk about that the last time? No. no. Now every motion you control the uh, uh, for example. If I have a good structure, good position, like that, whatever you touch me, I can feel. The feeling is called re reception of the message. I feel the message, I send the message to my brain. And the brain tell my body respond. They call reaction. That's both have to be happen in one second. They don't separate them. You say you cannot say, oh I feel it, I and react two seconds later. No, you have to react right away. That's what you have to develop, okay? You, how you develop this is through sticky hand. Later on, when I go to sticky hand, I go more deeper, okay? Now, the feeling and reaction is based on the motion. They are the yin and yang partner. The yin and yang, you understand what I mean by yin and yang? Once they are the opposite side, but they work together. They're balanced. Remember, yin and yang is a very basic concept in Wing Chun. Now, I'll give you an example. Like, wind up motion. A lot of people think, oh, wind up just go for like this. But actually, wind up, I have a counter reaction to it. I'm going to wind up this way, go back and then go forward. They call wind up opposite direction before I can go that direction. Uh, that's called, called yin and yang. Understand that point? I throw you a baseball. I cannot just do like that. I have to wire up the throw. The wire motion is the opposite and then go to that direction. That's called yin and yang balance to make this power solid. But uh, don't worry about that. When I go to sticky hand part, I will deeper explain how to do it right, okay? The function of the feeling is to receive the signal, okay? Send the message to the brain, that's what I'm saying, okay? That is what I call small idea, okay? <coughs> Come in. And then when you react, you say when the brain receives the signal, have to counter right away, respond right away, that's called reaction. That's a function of the motion, okay? Now, how the function work? How your reaction work? The reaction based on two things. They call yin and yang too. One's physical and one's uh, mental. One is from vision of your energy. I'm looking at you first. I am aware of What's going on? I see you coming to swing the punch at me. Now I merge your energy. I see what's going on yet. By the time your punch come reach my area or touch me, whatever, then I got to react in that. That's the latest time I react. But the beginning reaction is when I am aware of the energy coming to me. All right? Understand that? This is the feeling. I have two type. One's of energy merge, one is physical touch. Right? The reaction, the brain tell me, uh, tell you what to do. I, the brain say, oh, that's not necessary to uh, respond, I just walk away. Okay, the brain tell you, you're, you're responsible, just walk away. But the, the brain tell all that, I have to protect myself because if I walk away, I got killed. Then the brain tells you respond right away. That two judgment. Take a yin and yang right there again. Alright? What's the common function? All this feeling and reaction is based on the 13th principle. That's why later on when I tell you the 13th principle, everything is based on that. That's why I tell you 13 is 1, 1 is 13. When you do Wing Chun development, every motion, you get to find out what is the 13 within that motion. How they work. Don't just think of motion, punching and hitting just like that. 
No, each punch, each block, everything you move have the 13 principle behind. Then your motion is perfect. All right? That's what you have to do to learn. Otherwise, you don't need to learn. Punching, kicking, everybody know how to do it. Why you want to learn? Right? The learning is to do the right way without harming yourself. Yeah, like eating, everybody know how to eat. Why you want to learn how to cook to eat? You pick up anything you eat, okay, right? You know how to eat. Train yourself to cook good, now you have the taste. You won't hurt yourself, you won't eat something your body don't accept. You will kill yourself if you don't know what to eat, you kill yourself. You eat some, you know what I mean, right? Some, something poison, then you don't even know, then you hurt yourself. The feeling and reaction, the based on your motion and the muscle. Because without motion, there's no muscle in walk. Without without muscle, there's no motion in walk. That two have to work together. Whatever you react it in walk, that two function. Motion and muscle work together. You got? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Now also there's a, 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 someone asked me a question about the, the one I told you before. I think I showed you that yes, uh, last time. Okay, I show you again. Any motion is based on tensegrity. Okay, because all the bone join together with the ligament muscle, they all touch together. Okay, when one bone move, everything move. They call tensegrity function. When I move, punch you like that. You look at only my hand, but actually you can see my body, all the muscles, my leg, every, everything move at the same time. But if you pay attention on my hand, you just see my hand move. But if I know how I move, I pay attention not only my hand, pay attention on my whole body. I punch you, everything move together to help that punch. That punch will be much solid, more powerful. Okay, that's why when you develop, you have to think about this move, the other part is moving too. What is helping this part to move? Okay, then when the force come in, when you block, how everything is moving together to block the incoming force. Okay, you can feel your whole body, how they react, how they move for that purpose. That is called tensegrity function. Eh? Now, in order to have that function right, you have to maintain one, one uh, center of gravity without moving. Then you can feel, you can feel all the things are moving. But if this center of gravity cannot hold it stabilized like this, everything moves, you don't feel whatever is moving between the joint. You see that? You don't feel it. But as long as you can maintain a center of gravity without moving, I feel everything. I can control everything. Understand my point? That's why in Wing Chun development, you, there's a very fun, basic foundation. Develop your motion. You can stick your hand. When I do stick your hand, never move your body. Never do like this. That rocking, you already lose the center of gravity. Then all the functions is gone. You are not developed right. Then whatever you do, boom, solid. I maintain my center of gravity, controlled by me solidly, without rocking. Now I can control my hand perfect. Okay, because I can feel all the muscles are moving. Understand that point? Okay, now I show you this last time. A lot of people told me that only because there's uh, gravity. Think about it. Gravity, I'm, t I'm standing here already. The gravity hold me down. I'm so solid, standing on the ground. Okay, my hand is linked to my body. See, I can hold my hand up without moving. It's not free falling subject. Unless I did not connect to my body, my hand will drop away from my body. They call falling, free falling subject. Then the gravity. 
The gravity already controls my whole body. My body controls my hand. That means my hands listen to my body. The gravity is there, but it's already taken over by my body. Now, for example, I show you again, let's see. Come on, someone catch that one for me. Okay, don't let it drop. The curve, the motion in curve is most faster position. Because like, when I drop together, the curve is most fast. How come? But if I drop both without attaching the ball, because that, that's in my body, I attach something and walking on something. That's why it's not a fall, free falling subject. Free falling subject like that, boom, together, stay all together. Because I have nothing to attach to. That called gravity. The function of the gravity. Understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now the function of gravity, I connect to my body. There, my hand already have something in supporting. I'm walking on the path of my body. It's not a free falling subject. Understand the point? Mm -hmm. But there is gravity involved. But that is not the function of the gravity control your motion. The motion controlled by your body. Am I making sense? Yeah. Kaya, I need some feedback. If you, if you have better idea, let me know. Okay, the idea. Do you guys have any better idea to explain this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you were talking earlier, uh, you were talking a little bit about the wind up, right? Wind up, yeah. So this hand is coming back, and this hand is curving a little yeah. bit, correct? Any motion, beginning of the motion, have wire up motion. I'm releasing from here, wire up from here, wire up this way. Yeah. And I'm not just pulling back like this. Right. When I'm going out, same thing, I'm going out this way. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are doing that motion, and these hands are going to stop at the same time, this yeah. curving hand has to move faster no. to get here. No, the same distance. Yeah, but aren't you curving a little bit? Aren't you curving? Yeah, you curve, but think about this curving too. Yeah. Both are curving. They're curving the same amount? Yeah, yeah okay. same amount. Okay. Because just like a circle, they roll the circle, everything together. So you roll in a ball, yeah. a small ball. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless, unless I'm rolling here, I'm pulling back here. Yeah. That's different. Okay, different distance. Okay? So far, okay. Now, the structure-wise, remember, the structure-wise, the V-shape just on my hand. I'm holding one, one angle. How, how, see the V-shape my hand like this? That connect to my shoulder. This part is not movable. It's attached to my body. I have some, this hand is attached to my body. This is my shoulder, okay? Now, if I put like this, this structure is weak because I'm, you know, I put my hand close to my elbow. When the force comes in, it pulls my elbow. All right? If I put my hand all the way to the top like this, the force come in, come, come to my shoulder, but the elbow has more, take over the motion. But this one, even like that, I push my elbow, then I have to use muscle on my shoulder, keep it up, okay? In order to balance this force, both, both elbow and shoulder equally support the hand, I put that in the middle. When the force comes in this way, see my elbow move, but my shoulder move at the same time too. That is the least amount of power that will conserve principle. I conserve my energy to have the job done. But if I do like this, the four come in, I use more muscle in the one part of my body, it's not considered conserved energy. Understand the concept? Because you have to understand this concept before I get into teaching you stuff from serum tau or everything's based on this. Okay? Any questions? So far? 
Yeah, George. So is that the, what you were talking about the other day where the palm has to be in the middle around the stern yeah. Yeah. for the correct position to make that function yeah. right? Yeah, uh, let's see. Mike, come here. I'll give a long good thing. There, yeah, I'll show you, okay? Look, look at this side. Okay. Have you ever seen him? The V shape, uh, they call perfect V shape. Okay, if I push the V shape this way, he has to use more power supporting here. Okay, if I put the V shape here, more power supporting there. Okay, but if in, in the between, between the shoulder and the elbow, right here, uh, if I fall come in, he both are equally move. Then very strong the structure. That is based on the pyramid theory. The eagle side triangle. That four come in, that cool right on the center. That means stronger structure. Understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, for example, if you understand the basic concept, look, when you're punching out, okay, for example, you're punching out, the elbow move. Now, these two are moving now. These two are moving. Okay, but this one, still based on the center. Right here moving, still on the center. Moving, still on the center. Moving, still on the center. Even straight out, now still on the center. That's called perfect structure. Yeah, you see that point? Okay. These are all the motion you mention, you get to know where you set your hand, how you maintain everything balanced. Okay, I put my hand here. Just look like this, look like this. Eh? In this level, he go up further, I still center, further center. So it look like his punch is in the arch automatic, going, raising already. Then from here, in the point here, to here, it's raising up. It's going up to the target. It's not, it's not going, you're pointing up this way. It's automatic, the whole structure going up forward. Okay, that's a way you have to look into the structure itself. Same thing like bong sang. In structure, I'm talking vertically, the triangle. But what happened horizontally? You flip this way. Same thing now. For me, I, this angle, triangle here, center. Okay, when I go like this, center, center, center. Like here, elbow high, now still on the center between shoulder and elbow. If you drop the elbow like that, you're not on the center anymore. That's why that, mo that position is weak. If you do bones out like that, it's not on the center. Then the four come in, you have to use muscles supporting this structure. But if you're between elbow and shoulder, my hand in, in this, actually in here, in the between, you see that? Can you see the three dimension? Elbow high, the wrist below my elbow, right here. That is center. Right here is below, I'm not in the center. Or too high, I'm not in the center. You got to know fire how to put your hand right in the center. You don't need too much muscle to support your structure. The structure perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Am I making sense? You understand the concept? Yes. Yeah. Does the um, wind up naturally happen because of the anatom like yeah. the anatomical structure of the body yeah. and having a target? Yeah. Those two things together. Yeah, you have to be naturally developed. This one, look at uh, the eye, have this in here. Based on natural motion. I, I think I showed you last time, right? Every motion, the bottom line is based on natural motion. Natural and, uh, and flexible smooth motion. That's what we have to develop to this final goal. That's why in Wing Chun, we learn how to move. We don't learn how to set the motion. If the motion is set, that becomes a technique. That doesn't work in the real situation. The real situation, you can move any way come from your, your idea. That's why in Wing Chun, they call, in Chinese, they call Kun Yao Sam Fa. That means you punch. That means your technique, it comes from your heart. Okay, it's not come from the center. 
a lot of people misunderstand, misunderstand punch from your heart, they can know some fun, some is hard channel. But if you talk about the center line called Zhong Sum, if you're talking about the center line called Sum, that's two different words. Well, the same word, but the two different usage. If I call center called Zhong Sum, okay. But if I call my is some, is some internal heart. That means I come from my idea. That's my idea. I go and want to hit you this way, it's up to me. I want to hit you this way, it's up to me. But as long as I develop my motion based on my move, how naturally it, with a good structure, I can do anything I want. That's why all the Wing Chun, from beginning the punch all the way to the, the way you finish learning, is called development. The way you go outside the street and have a fight, that's called application. Yin and yang. Now, development, they have rules. You have to follow the rules. The drill have to do this way, you follow. But application have no rules. Yin and yang right there. Can you see it? In the school, you follow the rules to develop your skill. Outside, you apply your skill without rule. <laughs> Am I making sense? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Okay. Now remember, I don't know any Wing Chun teacher teach the way I teach, but you guys learn from me. Learn what I tell you. Okay. That's the main thing. If you if you have too many ideas, you learn from so and so. You learn from so and so. End up more chop suey. You don't know which one to follow. End up you get nothing. If you follow one all the way through, you will get something. No matter the teacher teach you good or teach you bad, as long as you follow him all the way, your intuition will grow. You will judge for yourself what's right, what's wrong. Then you will find out the right way. But if you're learning from too many people, too many ideas, your intuitions cannot grow anymore because all the ideas holding on your intuition. Then your intuition just sleeping all the time. You don't use their own, you cannot use your own power to think for yourself. Only people tell us think for you because you're listening to them. Okay, learn Wing Chun is learn by yourself. It's not learn from listening to people. I tell you everything based on my heart. I tell you what I think is right. Maybe that's not true. But uh, the way I tell you according to me is perfect. But, but maybe when you listen to me, something not perfect because my concept doesn't fit into you. Because you, you have some kind of physical problem, whatever, you cannot work what I tell you. That's why you got to know how to judge, adjust yourself to the way you can do. Don't keep follow my way. That's the way you learn. Okay? Understand? That's called yin and yang. Yin, good and bad. That's a good way and bad way. Good way, also a bad way too. Bad way, also a good way too. You have to understand that. That's called yin and yang. Okay? Now, for example, when I do sticking with you, okay? You are my opponent. When I start to hit you, my position wise, I am active, you are passive, right? But within yourself, you are passive, but you have a yin and yang within you. That means you have applied to condom my action position wise. You are the one following my motion. Position wise, I am the one hitting you. You are the one blocking me. They call yin and yang. But when you're blocking me, you have to be actively block me. Don't just be passive. That's why in your part, blocking position, you have to be active. Counter my active. That make it work. You cannot say, oh, I, I he block me, I just block. Be passive. That if too passive, you never make the job done. You always get killed, okay? That's why you get, get to understand that. Now, I'll give you an example. If the ball come to you, you are the one hitting the ball, you are the passive person. But if you don't have that enough power to hit the ball, 
you won't be able to hit the ball. The ball will run you over. That's why the edge part is I have that enough power to counter the ball. He have 100 pounds coming into me, I have at least 100 pounds to hit the ball. That is the perfect reaction, right? That's why my motion, although I'm hitting the ball, I'm passive, I'm waiting the ball come in, I'm passive hit the ball. But in that passive motion, I have to be active hitting to equalize the force. That is, understand the concept, yin and yang? Do not think, oh, he's hitting me, I, I be blocking him, I be at passive. If you think that way, you always passive, what happened? He kill you. The one passive lay down the ground all the way. <laughs> Understand that? That's what I try to teach you guys in Wing Chun. Understand the concept first. Then do it right. If you don't even understand the concept, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you understand what I mean? That's important. Look like I talk too much, but that's most important. But by the time I show you the form, how to do it, I won't say too much anymore. I talk enough. Then you got to digest yourself, think you talk to yourself now. When you learn the form, you have to talk to yourself, figure out, is that right? Is that wrong? That depends on yourself. Okay. That's yin and yang. In the beginning, I talk too much. When after that, then you can talk to yourself too more. I don't talk too much. <laughs> it, uh, that's the concept. Okay. Any questions so far up to this point? We haven't got to the 13 principles so far. <laughs> <laughs> But time go fast already. But we continue. Don't worry. We will get to it. After we finish the 13 principle, or maybe one more time, I think, I should be able to finish, give you the idea what's the 13 principle, how to develop, and then we start the serum tower, all those, the whole system. Okay? okay? Thanks for listening to me.